most of our young people in this generation, mm. singles, eh, wanasema awezi kuenda kununua gari yenye unja test kwanza. Wanasema upatiwe gari kwanza upiga round 2. Unaona? Ukishapiga round 2, eh, sasa uliza bei. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, that is that is the generation that we have today. Mm. And uh, the issue about um, abstinence is uh, is is becoming is becoming a vocabulary. I hear them say that virginity ni ufala, you know. Mm. Very nice and good evening. This is another Saturday. As usual, we are gathered here for dialogue at the well. And this has been your favorite show. This is where we always engage you. This is where we inform you on matters that are affecting our young people, our young generation, that they may be informed. They may get the right information at the right time. And today we are here back again uh, to engage you. We are here back again uh, for a serious conversation on uh, some of the issues that are still affecting our young people. And today, uh, we are glad to have a very wonderful guest here that is going to introduce herself and then uh, we get moving. All right. Um, good evening, our viewers. Uh, thank you very much. My name is Sarah Kibazo. And I am a life coach. I am a trainer. I'm also a counselor. And I am a mother. And I am a wife. And besides that, I do a mentorship programs for teenagers. Yeah. And uh, these programs, I carry them out in uh, churches. I've dealt with um, prisoners in where? In, mm -hmm. I mean prisoners mm -hmm. in juvenile. Yeah. Yeah, young people in prison. And I have also I also do them in schools where I just mentor young people on sexuality matters yeah. and how to find their purpose. Mm -hmm. And besides that, I also do trainings for parents yeah. on how to talk to their children regarding sexuality. Yes. You know, many at times parents are told to talk, 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 talk. Mm -hmm. But then they're like, how do I even begin this talk? Yeah. How do I talk? Mm -hmm. So that is one of my area. Yeah. And I thank God he has graced me on that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so that is our guests. Now, I'm a same of it to me, give me the years in the year, even a kubuka to be life coach. It was in Guinea. And she mentioned uh, quite a number of uh, a number of issues that uh, she deals with. And when she when you mentioned about uh, being a life coach, you know, uh, dealing with uh, our sexuality um, among people in uh, among young people in in schools, in colleges, and finding their purpose in life, mm. you know, that captured my my heart because that is what we usually deal with here. That is, a vijana waweze kujua, you know, how they should go about uh, issues of life. Because there are so many young people that are missing out because they, are, they don't have uh, the right information. Ama wana, wana jipata tu kwa vitu tu, they are doing things kwa sababu, awa kupata the right person on their way. And I want to believe today, wamepata the uh, prophet, you know, wamepata mtu yao, wamepata full dosage mm. ya mtu yao mwenye wana, wanafaa kukutana na ee. And today, um, our viewers, we are engaging on a, on a topic, and um, as I was I was discussing with with Sarah Kibazo, um, she mentioned something to me about uh, about our sexuality, and today we need to engage as something on um, something on abstinence. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about abstinence, you know, we don't abstinence, I'm abstinence, you abstinence, why you abstain? When you are trying to look at this, I have met, I have discussed, I have interacted with young people, uh, also being involved in um, a number of um, things that uh, happen uh, around our young people, that uh, most of our young people in this generation, mm. singles, eh, wanasema, awezi kuenda kununua gari yenye unja test kwanza. Wanasema, upatiwe gari kwanza, upiga round bill, nuna? Ukisha pika round bill, eh, sasa uliza bay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, uh, that, is, that is the generation that we have today. Mm -hmm. And uh, the issue about um, abstinence is, uh, is, is, becoming, is becoming a vocabulary. Basically, according to you, <laughs> what is abstinence? <laughs> oh, you really say yeah. it's becoming a vocabulary. Yes. Many yeah, young people don't want to hear that, or rather they don't use it. Yeah. Yani, ni kama ni kitu isha potelea. Mm -hmm. 
it's something for old people. Yes. I hear them say that virginity ni ufala, you know. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh, mechanganyikiwa. Mm-hmm. But basically, abstinence is keeping away from, mm-hmm. withholding yourself uh-huh. from, mm-hmm. uh, refraining yourself from. We can use those words. Yeah. And then um, from something, because mm-hmm. there are several, you know, yeah. uh, ways you can abstain from something. Maybe well, you're abstaining abstain from, from, different things, from yeah. food, from uh-huh. drugs, you know. Yeah. from sex which mm-hmm. is our main thing today you can mm-hmm. abstain even from talking to people uh-huh. yeah and um in our, in our case today as we talk about abstinence and especially in the biblical context of it mm-hmm. it means that you're keeping yourself away from sex mm-hmm. until you're married yes, yes, yes. okay or until you're in the marriage uh-huh. context yeah. because you can be married mm-hmm. but then you're still having sex with other people mm-hmm. who are not your wife uh-huh. Yes. So now you're abstaining yourself uh-huh. until you're in a place where you are now married to yes. someone who is your husband mm-hmm. or your wife mm-hmm. and you're having sex with them in that context mm-hmm. of marriage. All right. Yes. So our uh, today, today as you mentioned that uh, there are different uh, ways or types of abstaining. We are not talking about food. We are not talking about uh, leisure. We are not talking about people. We are basically talking about uh, sex. And when we talk about uh, abstaining from sex eh? our young people our mm. generation uh wanasema sasa is out, is outdated and the big question today mm. eh, or the bone of contention today mm. is that is abstinence for young people outdated or hey. for singles outdated is it outdated well, let's go back to the word of God uh-huh. because that is where we brave our principles, yes, especially yes, yes. my principles when I do mentorship, I base, I, I base them on the mm-hmm. bi- biblical principles. Yeah. So as I was doing my research, I came mm-hmm. to realize that there are 22 verses mm-hmm. that talk about abstinence in the Bible. 22? 22 in the, uh-huh. whole verse, in the whole Bible. Mm-hmm. So if we say that abstinence is outdated, then we should also be saying the Bible is also outdated. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And if we're also going to say that abstinence is outdated, then mm-hmm. everything else that pertains in that Bible should be outdated. Mm-hmm. You know, nowadays uh, we have this thing. People want to, you know, read the Bible and take what feels good for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. They, there's a verse in the Bible that says that all things belong to us. Mm-hmm. So we want to take that one because we want everything to belong to us. But yes, then we don't yes, want to yes. take that one off. Mm-hmm. Keep away from sexual immorality. We don't mm-hmm. want to take that. Mm-hmm. So if it is outdated to you, then let the whole Bible be outdated. Mm-hmm. Yes. But if the Bible is still living and the word of God is still living, then abstinence is something to go with. It is part of us. Okay, that is now an argument based on the word of God. What about somebody that has never been to church, has never uh, witnessed anything to do with the church? Uh, abstinence, is it banned for them? Is it outdated? Before they are married, what are the, some of the consequences they are likely to face? And these consequences are not for girls, they are not for boys only, and they are not for the unsaved or saved. It cuts across because we are all human beings. And God is the creator of all of us and is the one who created sex. So, number one is you invite so many spirits when you get yourself into sex. Okay? You invite spirits that uh, are not yours. Mm. And you see those spirits. Um, think about a thief. Yes. You know, they don't have conscience. Sometimes they can even mug you and even kill you because of that phone. Because their conscience is already dead. Mm. But can you imagine that person cannot keep that phone with them? Mm. They will go in. They want to dispose it. Yes. They want to find a way it won't okay. Mm. You know? The same thing, because it is not theirs. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine? That is, and that is a thief. Yeah. Now, the same thing with someone who gets into sex and you acquire a spirit that is not yours. In one way or another, it will always want to manifest. Mm-hmm. It will start to manifest itself. That's why we are seeing so many soul ties mm-hmm. in marriages today. People yeah. have spiritual husbands, spiritual wives. Mm-hmm. So marriages are not working yeah. because somebody involved with themselves with a certain spirit. So mm-hmm. a spirit manifest in your marriage. And now our pastors nowadays, they don't have any other work except kutua mapepo. So most of the marriages that are not working today, the bottom line is that they are laid on the wrong foundation of people that did not abstain. Well, that is one or two. Uh-huh. One or 
two of the reasons. Yeah. There are so many reasons. We mm. cannot just base it on that. Yeah. But there are so many reasons. But this is also one of mm. one or two mm. of the reasons why. Mm -hmm. Yes. We are not closing it there. We are saying there's also the guilt aspect. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think sex is one thing that you will always just feel guilty about it. Mm -hmm. Especially if you, you are not used. Mm -hmm. <laughs> especially you are, if you are outside the marriage context. That's why you will go today, mm -hmm. go tomorrow, sasa, go another third time. Because you will sanctify your kwanza, you mm -hmm. your pili. By the time you are going for the third or fourth, ah, usha zoya. Your guilt conscious now, imeanza kukufa. Mm -hmm. That's why you see in marriage, um, when you get out with your wife, mm -hmm. People don't start asking eh, or telling each other, these people, these people, it's like the headset today. They don't. Yeah. But when you're walking outside, if you're a girlfriend, boyfriend, <laughs> you're coming out of a house, you, even in yourself, you're just feeling like, ah, they are sweet. Uh -huh. Ni kama wa mejua. And even sometimes you're like, we toka kwanza, eh? alafu mi ni fuate. And if you're going to church, you're like, we nda chat kwanza, I mean da kuja. So, because... Nobody has even asked you, uh, but you're just feeling guilty already. Uh, yes, because that is. You know, you. And then again, it opened doors uh -huh. for other vices. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that sex is one way, is, is, an, is one sin that you commit against your own mm -hmm. self. Yeah. So if it is something that you commit against your own self, mm -hmm. and you're able to commit sin against your own self, then any other thing you can be able to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you're able to do sex with one, two, three, four people, mm. you can be able to abuse anybody. Yeah. And you feel like, you can, even taking alcohol will not be hard to you. Mm -hmm. Because you've already opened yourself for anything. Yeah. Anything. And you see the Bible says that um, the, the person who has no self-control is like a city mm -hmm. without a, a wall. A wall so yeah. a city without a wall is ready to be invaded. So anything can invade you, mm -hmm. be it drugs. That is why you find many people, they backslide. Yeah. And then after some time, ameanza kukua. Mara mnasikia na kunywa, mm. anaenda sijiu wapi. Because no, he has already opened himself to mm. other vices. Yeah. Another thing is the unwanted pregnancies mm. and the STIs. We can't mention that. Because actually mm. that is the, I think it is the demon. Now, yeah. please, on mm -hmm. that, eh, we have a generation of young girls mm. who have no problem with STIs eh, and mm -hmm. HIV and the rest. Mm. Anasema mimi kama sijapata body hizo zingine hizo zingine hazisumbui. Anasema siku hizi ukimwi ni malaria. Eh. I mean I have a friend of mine who who teaches a lot on uh, STIs. Uh -huh. If there is a person in yani I would even want him to teach the whole girls about STIs. I'm uh -huh. telling you or boys. Uh -huh. I'm telling you people to just refrain from these things. Uh -huh. It's only that you cannot talk, you know, when we meet and maybe you have gonorrhea. It's not so easy for you to tell me. Yeah. It's because there are, there are very personal things and private things mm -hmm. and very shameful mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. So they shouldn't tell us they're not. You know, they are afraid. Mm -hmm. They are afraid. Mm -hmm. And that is why they, they are trying to use, you know, protection mm -hmm. to curb all that thing. But in most cases, when people commute sex, mm -hmm. I, I'll, I'll tell you some of the reasons why they, they even get into that. Because they are so impulsive. Mm -hmm. They'll just do it out of, you know. Curiosity, what are you to one every later? Kua, what are you to me? Low protection, what are you to Jaribu Kamahaina? And you see now all these things you are able to get. Is it yeah. STIs? Is it pregnancy that is now curtailing? Um, let's talk about STIs first. AIDS, eh? mm. which is now between the age of 15 to 49, eh? right now, the highest rate of HIV mm. are between the age of 15. 49. Very young. Very young people. So you can imagine from a 15 year old having AIDS, meaning that they have started maybe engaging in sex at an early. One hundred class six. Imagine. Mm. So uh, is this cla the class six kid ready to tell you that I have AIDS? Mm -hmm. They cannot tell you. There are shameful things, there are sinful things that are killing them inside. Mm -hmm. And we will talk about that later. The things that are killing them inside. As much as we talk about STIs, we talk about Mimba. At a Mimba squeeze, we talk about You know, they, they, they're ready to abort. They're ready. All those consequences come with it. Mm -hmm. You get pregnancy and what you abort. Mm -hmm. You know, another thing that can also happen, your ambitions are curtailed. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine, maybe you wanted to go to university, now here you are pregnant. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you wanted to go to, to wherever, now here you are, you are sick. Mm -hmm. Sometimes maybe you are, there are some countries you cannot even go when yeah. you have some kind of diseases. Yeah. So your ambitions are done what? They're curtailed. Mm -hmm. So you find that this kind of a person, they enter into unplanned marriages. Mm -hmm. And I want to tell young people, marriages are not for jokes. Mm -hmm. Marriages are not, you know, they're not places that you just go to be hugged and to have sex the whole night and, mm -hmm. and, and every day. 
That is not the basis of marriage. Mm -hmm. So you find that all those things, and those things fall on to everyone. The unborn, uh, unborn again people, mm -hmm. and those who are born again. Ama kuna pregnancy na chagua. Na itagua ta enzo itagui na itagui pastor itagui bishop na haita itagua mtu ambaye ajaokoka na ule ajaokoka. So we better be ready. This this young people mm. now that uh, we are addressing the singles and the rest mm. is it is abstinence applicable? Well, abstinence is applicable. Uh, Why is it not applicable? <laughs> Why is it not applicable? Eh? Is it applicable? We have we have a whole lot of generation, mm -hmm. a whole lot of um, young people, mm -hmm. rather singles, eh, mm. that are out there doing everything without, uh, you know, without uh, fear of anybody, without, mm. uh, you know, regard of, of the law or whatever comes in the word of God. Mm -hmm. They have no space for that. Mm. So they, is it is it applicable? Are, are there people out there who may abstain? Ama tunaweza zema, hapa tunazema, Ah, people are abstaining. People are abstaining. Why we shinda po kisema people are having sex? Everybody is having it. Everybody is doing it. See when. Na kwanza ni kulize. Uyu everybody is doing it. Nanya lisema your story. Everybody is doing it. Siwale wanaifanya. Wanazema everybody is doing it. Because we are doing it. No. Not everybody is doing it. Kuna hii maneno and a lot of myths. That this one who is not doing it. Ana umu wana hapa. Hapa kwa mgongo. Ana umu wana hapa kwa mgongo. <laughs> when I was young, there's one one of our teacher who used to tell us, ah. if you don't get into sex mm -hmm. and you get sick, come sick, come and tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so is it true what they usually keep on you know, is, lying to these young people? And, uh, it is and not true. I don't think I know. Not mm -hmm. even I don't think it is not true. Mm -hmm. Um, there are people who have abstained. <laughs> I don't want to mention names. Mm -hmm. Up to whatever level. Think about maybe. Okay, mm -hmm. let's talk about the nuns. We don't know. Mm -hmm. But most nuns, eh, they have abstained for the sake of celibacy. Yeah. They have abstained for the sake of serving God. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to get a doctor who mm -hmm. can maybe hear us and tell us that I have treated so many nuns <laughs> or so many people who have abstained <laughs> and they are so sick. Eh, I mean, we are so sick. I mean, we are so sick. I mean, our doctors could be coming out and telling us, hey, people, have sex. Because mm -hmm. this disease, like now, Corona, we say now, Corona, this is the reason why Corona is here. Wear your mask. Do this. Do this. Mm -hmm. Now they'll come and say, "No, have sex," because I am tired of treating people who are not mm -hmm. having sex. Mm -hmm. No, people can abstain, and they are abstaining, and they cannot get sick. Mm -hmm. sick. So it is as as much as we are talking about it. It is happening among us. The, uh, it is happening. Young people. It we is have happening. Singles that are abstaining. Mm -hmm. We have uh, people that have saying no to sex before mm -hmm. the right time. Now there is something that um, I would want to. Get from you mm -hmm. now on on abstaining. Does it involve um, only only the sex the sex part of it? Ama ina involve baka kuka ukifikiri. Omeju kuna mtu aja abstain. Akini wana vitu zenye ana watch kwa simia kwa usiku pale akiwa merara. Hey, inachinda ata wala wakoko inje. Now does abstaining mm -hmm. involve um, what what somebody is doing as an individual? And others are masturbating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm abstain. What? Well, a prince, eh? Uh, if you remember the program that I'm going to carry out this yeah. Saturday yes. for teenagers, <laughs> is basically about sexting. Mm -hmm. You know, sexting mm -hmm. is when you are texting, but mm -hmm. you are texting sex, mm -hmm. you know, materials. Mm -hmm. Unatumiana nudes. Unatumiana nudes. Unaanza maneno polepole. Yes. And it is the highest threat of pornography. You know people are thinking, I mean, I don't watch pornography. Mm. Me, 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 I'm born again. I don't watch mm. pornography. Mm. But you're sending each other, you know, nudes. Mm. You're sending each other texts that have romantic stuff and yeah, all that. Yeah. 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 And emojis. And, and stickers. Mm-hmm. Zia kalikali. Mm-hmm. Una zingina ni liona ni kashtuka sana. Mm-hmm. Eh. Ebu, ebu ni ambi hizo? Kali. Yani ma stickers, <laughs> nione stickers, ina kumu na shiba. Hey. <laughs> and and these things are happening. Uh -huh. So, uh, and you see, most people engage in it, especially sexting, eh? mm -hmm. because they are thinking, oh, I'm not watching pornography. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I'm not watching pornography. But sexting is the highest rate of pornography right now. Mm -hmm. And the more you watch, the more you want to do, the more you want to experiment. Mm -hmm. Because pornography, its main aim is to arouse your body. Yeah. Is to bring you to a level that you know and you want to let me call it indulge. I mm. hate that word, but yeah. it is the truth. You want to indulge in sex. So mm. 
uh, when you te sext, mm -hmm. it is not text now, it is sext. Yes. You are just trying to arouse your body. And the next thing you will want to experiment mm -hmm. because your body is not made of some wood or something. You will want to experiment. Mm -hmm. So if you can be able to refrain, and when we, we are going to talk about maybe ways in which maybe young people can be able to refrain themselves from that, mm -hmm. we will talk about that. Mm -hmm. So if you want to refrain from it, if you want to keep yourself, then you will have to curtail those kind of communication mm -hmm. to stop, mm -hmm. you know. And let me say this categorically. When it comes to abstinence, mm -hmm. it is some, a decision you have to make. Mm -hmm. It is a very conscious decision you have to make. Mm -hmm. And probably in our part two, we will still talk, talk about that. Mm -hmm. It is a, a, a decision that you have to make mm -hmm. to consecrate yourself. Yeah. Okay? Especially if we are talking about to young people, I mean to born again Christians, to consecrate yourself mm -hmm. for the purpose of marriage. Okay? And still... You may be that person who say, me, I don't want to get into marriage. Mm -hmm. I don't want, you know, for your own reasons, which is fine. Maybe you mm -hmm. want to serve God with your body. It is okay. Yeah. But, but now when you tell yourself that I want to serve God with my body, mm -hmm. then you have to mean it and ask God to help you mm -hmm. to go over it. Yeah. Yes, because Tim, Paul tells Timothy that it is a, it is a, it is a sin mm -hmm. that every time besets young people. So every day, Iko tu hapo, inataka, inakuskuma tu, inakuskuma. Kila siku tu, look at our, 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 our you know what, our buses mm -hmm. or our matatus. Yemi hata kama unataka kufunga macho, iko tu hapo, iko tu hapo, iko tu hapo. So it is something that besets us every now and then. So it is a decision you have to make. A young person asking that, uh, mimi sijawai lala na mtu and I'm getting married, eh? Mm. Lakini nimekua niki watch pornography, nimekua niki, niki sex niki sexti nimekuwa niki nikimfanya masturbation mm. huyo mtu ameabstain huyo mtu aja abstain uh. but then you have to decide you have to decide just to curtail yourself even from music uh -huh. even from music Zira you know there's some music eh, there's some music you're saying oh this one is just mm. a love song mm. you know and uh, love songs no 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 you have to just tell yourself you know like job did he made a covenant with his own eyes. Yeah. See, I will not. I mm. have made a covenant with my eyes. Mm. And you have to get to that level. Sorry. Mm. Into that level of saying that I have made a covenant with my eyes. Mm. I have made a covenant with my phone. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying at the end of the day, it's yeah. a decision you have to make. Yeah. Yes. So uh, abstaining includes that uh, what you are going to do. Even So abstaining is not just about the private parts. Mm. It mm. includes even your eyes. Mm. And your legs. Na inakupeleka mahali pale. So it is abstaining kila kitu. That is everything in us from the mind to the eyes mm. to the mouth mm -hmm. to you know mm. everything else mm. that happens around us. Mm -hmm. um, this this young person eh, mm -hmm. that is uh, watching us alafu anauliza anauliza sasa eh, nilikuwa nime abstain mm -hmm. nikajipata kuna secondary abstainer. <laughs> And I wanted to talk about that actually. Kuna secondary na kuna primary. <laughs> na tutawapatia. Tuta, uh, Siyari nisizi tunapatia na chance. Uh, I, I like God because of the fact that he says that he puts our sins away. Like, you know, from east, east is far from the west. west. Is, yeah. And then he makes that which was as red as scarlet mm. to be as white as... Yani unakani kama hauja wai. You know, that is, that is the beauty yeah. of having God in your life. Or rather involving him, even mm. in your abstinence. You involve him and tell him, you know what, God? I want to start a new. Yeah. And you know, when he turns back and looks at you, mm -hmm. so that is why now, now we say this is secondary mm -hmm. abstinence. And that is why now we also have secondary virginity. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can begin from a place. Mm -hmm. You are not too late. You are not too far. No sin is too, too high to be forgiven, you know. Mm -hmm. So they can still do it. Yeah. They can still begin. So I don't know, may abstain wakajipata, wame, wame fanya maneno, they can still, mm. um, you know, attain a, a secondary abstainers. Now, wakia yeah. muka tena, kuna university. Ama wata kuwa ni wameaza ni mazoea, kwa watu wa mazoea. Tusizoe pia mungu bana. Mungu wata kuwa mazoea, sasa nasema, sasa yule mwenye amemaliza secondary mm. kuna university. <laughs> tashari. Ama tashari. <laughs> Okay, now, um, 
This is uh, Sarah. Mm. Sarah, please do your parting shot. Mm. These people, you've been joining them for part two next Saturday. Mm. Go, no, hop, hop, hop. Yeah. All right, all right. I want to speak to young people. There's a verse that really directed me uh-huh. when I was also young. Yeah. And it was in um, Matthew 25, 25 23. Mm. So it says that if you're faithful in small, mm. God will make you faithful in much. Uh. That meaning that if you can be able to keep yourself right now when you're just alone, when you're just, you know, just you and you yourself, you just have that small person of you. Yeah. God will make you in charge of so many big things. Meaning mm. if it is a husband, you know, a husband that is good for you. Mm-hmm. If it is a wife, a wife that is good for you. He's, just, he's not just give you anything. Mm-hmm. He'll give you something that he has also packaged. Yeah. And you know the packaging of God. He says that he's blessing as no measure, yeah, you know. Yeah. They're, they're running down, they're running over, mm-hmm. shaken together. Mm-hmm. You know, they're overflowing. Yeah. So it'll make you be faithful to bigger things. Mm-hmm. So if our young people can really hold on to this, look at the consequences. You don't want to go through all those kind of things. Mm-hmm. But if you can just give yourself, like, yeah. now I've made up my mind. I'm making this covenant with myself. I'm not getting into these things. It is possible, it is doable, mm-hmm. and you can make it. You had it all from Sarah Kibazo mm. that if you are confident enough that you need to achieve your purpose and your destiny and become the person that you would want to see, mm. then you have to start it now. She says that uh, there is secondary abstinence. If you have not abstained, she says that you can get restored, you know. You can abstain again. It is possible. It is doable. Whatever the the, 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 the generation, our young generation is lying out there yeah. that it is not possible. Aifaniki, mm. She says it's a big lie. Mm. And we can do it. And as young people, let us pursue our purpose with purity. Mm-hmm. Purity is possible. Mm. In our Zekana. And because we need a whole a uh, lot of good generation, blessed generation, uh, people that are focused with the future, it is good to abstain. Because there are all the consequences you can talk about. You cannot afford to miss this. We are coming out, uh, we are coming up on uh, our part two next Saturday. You cannot afford to miss this. So be tuned. Uh, this has been Dialogue and the World always come to you every Saturday mm-hmm. at 6 p.m. on Wema TV. You are wonderful people. God bless you. Thank you.